Hi guys, it's Angela from Cali Mom Collects and I am here doing another jewelry opening for you. This is a little bit different than my others. This one is a smaller lot. It is just over two pounds and it had a theme. It is a Southwestern theme. I tend to like Southwestern jewelry, so I'm super curious to see if this is gonna be any good or not. Um, it's kind of a trial for me. But if you like videos like this, jewelry unboxings and reselling information, then please subscribe. I'm just getting started, but I'm definitely going to be doing some what sold videos and more jewelry unboxing in the hauls. So let's see what's in here. I'll at least be able to make my money back. So I paid about $50 for this small lot, which is more than I would normally. First we have this awesome necklace. It has multi layers and it is mixed metal. You can see some gold tone and silver tone in there. It's really nice. It's made well. Okay, it has Jenny Bird is the brand. Okay, we have this bangle that has the brass on the inside, and this is either a wood or a bone on the outside. That's all of these embossed pieces in the middle. That's really neat. Okay, this is another mixed metal. It's a little misshapen. It's like braided wire. Oh, that fits kind of nice and you just squeeze it to fit. I like that, that's different. I've never seen something like this. This necklace, which looks like a dyed howlite. It's not plastic, but it's not turquoise. Silver tone beads. Pretty. We have these little earrings. Has a little red rock, which is definitely a natural stone. I don't know if it's dyed or not. If I could get these up close. Those are neat looking. We have some copper, copper cuff bracelets. Let's look at them all. So 
So this one actually says copper head on it and it says genuine copper on the inside there. And this one, looks a little bit older, no markings. And that one's pretty neat. That definitely has like the Southwestern, oh shoot, Southwestern or um, Native American markings on this one. That is really neat. And that one says copper, copper something. Let me look on the inside. It says copper and then it has a mark. I don't know if you can see. That, that one's really neat. That one looks vintage. And this one, this one doesn't really look like real copper to me. It looks more like a fashion piece to be made to look like copper, but it's still really pretty bracelet. Yeah, that's still really pretty. And then this one, it has magnets on the inside. More plain. We have some arrowheads in this lot. This looks like it was on a chain. It has a little thing there. This one has some paint on it. But those are interesting. Have a ring. Now this isn't real silver or real turquoise. It, this is just a fashion piece, but it's still pretty. The detail on the ring is very nice. It's big for me. Oh, we got this. Turquoise colored seed bead uh, necklace, sorry. Multi-strand. It has the cord up top here. No marks, but this is a very pretty color. If you like seed bead, this necklace is gorgeous. We have this cuff bracelet. any markings? Oh, it says something. Let me look. Something alpaca. That's what the inside says. And then it has like abalone, mother of pearl. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nope, it's not magnetic. I'm thinking this one is silver. I will test it and let you guys know. Nice. Okay, that looks like an owl to me. Maybe. It's a gold tone snake chain necklace. It says Whiting Whiting da Davis Whiting Davis I'll have to look that up. It sounds familiar, but um, not quite sure. And that's really it. this one's in great condition. It's definitely interesting and different. 
Hey, it's getting a little windy out here. We have a clamp bracelet. I'm not seeing any markings. It's We have a little cowboy hat. It's a pin. It says JJ. JJ. Looks maybe like pewter. So that's neat. We have this leather corded necklace. has a little turquoise pendant. It's very pretty, very Southwestern looking to me. Look at how awesome these are. It is seed bead, a little guy and a girl in a dress. These are so awesome. She even has hair. Like how in the world did somebody make these? This looks like a headdress. These are so awesome. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, we have this copper necklace or copper tone. The links are like a hammered copper link. And then it has the copper medallion. No marks, but that's pretty awesome. Okay, we have some earrings in there attached to each other. Both little dream catchers. It's getting closer. So these little copper ones, they say something. Let's see if we can see. I'm gonna have to look closer. It says copper and then it has like a symbol that looks like an M and a W kind of, but those are pretty neat. I like those. And then these little silver tone ones, I don't see any marks. Let's see, they're magnetic. Both are cute. Okay, we have this bracelet. This is light. This definitely is just a fashion piece. At least it feels like. Yeah. Still nice. It's made to look vintage. Yeah, there is a magnetic pull there. So just a fast fashion bracelet. So here we have a turquoise arrowhead. Let's see. It's cold. Looks like stone. Then it has the little turquoise chips. This is pretty neat. Yeah, I like that piece. Oh, wow. Look at this belt buckle. That is 
is awesome. This is definitely vintage. We have some verdigris happening on the back that needs to be cleaned up. But wow, this piece is amazing. I love it. Look at the mountain scene. Gosh, this is just such an original looking piece. This one might be my favorite so far. Okay. These feel like acrylic, like almost like a honey golden color. And then it has wood. Piece. looks like it could be silver but not sure very interesting looking here let's let's go out oops out out okay yeah look at that that's pretty cool let's see if it's magnetic not magnetic so I will check this one and let you guys know but look at how awesome that is okay we got a bracelet here silver looks silver We've got a camel I don't know what that hand represents Okay, how do we open this? Oh, okay, it's one that you pull the pin and open. I don't see any markings. Definitely is vintage, for sure. see if it is magnetic okay it's magnetic so it's not silver but ah, that is still a really really neat piece okay we have all right I don't know if I'd consider this piece southwestern I would probably consider this more island with the puka shells and the shark tooth, but um, yep, it's here nonetheless. I still think I could sell it. Okay, what is this? Oh, oh, wait, here's the. So this looks like a shell pendant dragonfly pendant and I definitely think that this would be easy an easy fix thank goodness that the piece was still in there it's a dragonfly pendant look at how pretty that is we have this little bracelet this also looks silver see markings but looks like it could be little garnets just very dainty okay this looks like it is for a bolo tie and it is an awesome horse inside a horseshoe shape that's awesome not magnetic I will test this piece as well I have quite a bit of of the pieces to test to see if they're silver or not this is a long necklace 
and it has little charms that dangle. It has the cowboy boot and the hat and the vest. It's cute. Hope it says something back there. Let's look. It says Avon. This is an Avon piece. Wow, and look at the little piece here is a little belt buckle. It's just a fashion piece, very cute. Okay, we're almost done. This is a smaller lot, so it's a charm bracelet. Oh, look at that, beaded cross. That is awesome. We've got a foot, a eyes, and a, looks like could be Mary. And that says something. Let's look closer. This on the back says Italy, and then it has a C and an S. So it's weird, it has the arm, foot, eyes, and then a bird. Got maybe a heart, I'm not sure. This is definitely different. It's limbs charms. Hmm, okay. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's magnetic. That is odd. Okay, we have our last pieces. We have two rings, similar, just different inlays here. It looks like turquoise and something else. And then, oh wow, that's cool. Can you see it is a little pendant and it has an ocean scene and it's made out of abalone and mother of pearl and the water might be turquoise. That is awesome. And that says El Paca, Mexico as well. All right, guys, that is it. Here is another look at the Southwestern lot. Um, I am probably most excited about this piece. This is my favorite piece. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if so, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing many more. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.